What's going on guys? Today I'm here to show you how to play the Frailty Reinvent version by Prince Whatever. So, this is a pretty simple song to learn. The only hard part that I can say about it is getting down to the tuning. The t tuning is drop A, so it sounds like this. So, yeah, basically getting it down to drop A tuning is going to be your biggest challenge. But there is some challenging parts in the song too, but the main thing about it that I've noticed is that there is a lot of funky chords. Funky chords are basically chords that don't sound like they're supposed to. So take this for instance. That's a normal chord. That's a funky chord. So the original version started up here on the second and the fifth. The new version is tuned up two steps higher so it starts here at the fourth and the seventh and how this is positioned is on the fourth fret my index finger is barring the top two strings so that is barred and my index or excuse me my pinky is on the sixth fret or seventh fret is on the seventh fret and is on the D string so you get this sound Okay, so how it starts out is like this. That's how I play it. So, down, one, two, three, four, five. Now, there is pauses in between some chords that you can clearly hear in the song. So how, your, so your next chord is this, which is just sliding your pinky back to the um, sixth fret from the seventh fret. So, yeah, you're basically going to have those kind of pauses in there, so, 7, so that is 6, 7, so on the 6, on the 4th and 6, you're going to pause for just a second, and then go back to 7, and then back to six, one, two, three. So it sounds like this all together. It's basically like that. Next chord is down here at the seventh and the ninth. Down, one, two, three, four, five. And then sliding into the next one is a little more tougher. Um, you're basically going to go to a, you're going you're gonna to slide your index finger down to the ninth fret, but your pinky is going to come to the twelfth. So, and it's going to sound like this. So that's your chord. But with the pinky, you're basically going to do what you did up here on the fourth and the seventh. Basically down here. So, from this, so that's 12, 11, back to 12, and then on an 11, 9, or excuse me, two strums down. So all together, you get this sound. Excuse me. And then you just speed that up. And you're just going to play that, I think it's four times. Going into the verse, which this is a little tricky. You're going to go back to the fourth fret and just bar the top string. And it sounds like this. Damn it. So how this sounds, or how this goes, is on the 4th fret, you're going to bar it with your finger, open, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so you're going to palm me with that 5 times, and then on your, then your pinky is going to be positioned at the 4th, or excuse me, the, 
the sixth fret on the D string. And you're just going to get that note and basically do what you did like this. So, so four, or excuse me, six, seven, six, seven, six. Okay, then the next part is a little tricky. You're gonna palm mute the second the the second string from the top. And with your pinky on the fifth, you're going to hit that you're going to hit that note. And then just pull off. Next, you're going to slide down back to that 7-9. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3 again. Then down here, you're going to slide back into that 9-12. Um, and 1, 2, 3. And then you're going to slide your pinky back to the 11th. 1, 2, 3. So, sounds like this all together. Then coming back, you're just going to hit a little A, like that, and then just replay it. Then going into the chorus, it's going to you're going to get your uh, your chorus chords. So five seven, not barred this time as you can see with my finger. Then seven nine. So how can I win this fight? And then the chorus is just basically. Picking the heck out of a 5779911 and then back to 79. It's like this. And then coming out of that, I just do this, which is barring the 4th fret. I would teach you the chunk patterns if I knew them, but that's a little bit more advanced, so we're just going to stick to the easy stuff. So there is a little note progression that happens um, while the chugging is going on. Like, and by chugging, I mean this stuff. You know that stuff. So, where it starts, you're going to slide into a 9. B string. B string 9. And then go back to an 8. Same string. Then back to 9. With the, And you're going to jump up a string to the G string. And then from 9, you're going to slide to an 11. It's like this. Do that again. But when you get here, it changes up. So basically where this starts is on the 8th and 11th frets. So with your index finger on the 9th fret, you're going to put your index finger on the 3rd third, third string from the top. So like, so that note. And then your I use my pinky, but you can use your third string, your fi third finger. You're gonna put that on the eleventh fret of the B string. One, two, three, four. 
and then slide up to an 11 13. Oh, and the string in the middle, this one, is completely silent. And then just go back to that note progression. Only this time, you don't have to do that crazy stuff again. All you have to do is an 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 13. One, two, three, four. It's like this. Okay. Then comes the chorus or first again. Just do that again. But instead of going back into this before the chorus, you're going to go into that note progression again. Excuse me. Basically that again. And you're going to play the chorus twice. So you're going to repeat that same progression four times. Did I say four? I meant two. So coming into the part where Milky Momo starts to come into play, you're just going to let that 5-7 ring out at the end. And then go to a 4 bar, then 2 bar. Then Milky Momo starts to sing 5-7, again, 4, 2, and then once you really start getting into it, that's when you're going to just play that opening riff again. Now there is a part right here that you can do or choose not to do. It's basically coinciding notes again, and it's played on the second, the A string and the G string. The only reason I ask, the only reason I say if you want to play it is because it is dang fast and you gotta play fast. So it sounds like this. Which what that is is. 9, 9-11, slide up two frets, to an 11-13, then to, hang on, then to a 12-14, then slide up twice to a 14-16, and each of these is played three times. And then you just go back to the chorus. Okay, so you're going to play that a few times. Then coming out of the song to where Milk and starts singing, my friends are with me, they're always with me, this part changes. It goes from just basically playing those three notes, or three chords, to this. Five, seven, four, two, and then you're going to slide down to a seven guard. And then the second time around, which is the end of the song, four, two, 
seven. And you're just gonna let that ring out. And that is how you play um, Frailty, the reinvent version. So hopefully this helped you guys a little bit. And good luck with the song. And until next time, take care. Spare off now. Bro health.